Hey, and welcome to Fun Swedish and our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about how you pronounce the Swedish vowels. The Swedish vowels are very tricky because they have different sounds depending on what comes after the vowel. And we normally can hear like a long sound or very short sound of the vowel. This depends a little bit if there's one consonant coming after, then it becomes the long sound, or if just two or more consonants. Then it's actually the short sound, normally. This is the general rule, there can always be some exceptions, but normally this is how it works. So, let's start with the first vowel, and that would be aw, aw. It looks just like an English A, but it's pronounced very different. In Swedish, A would sound like aw, aw. And when you say this, you kind of need to put down your jaw, and it's kind of like you're saying a cute puppy, and you say aw, aw. But the tricky part is that we have two different A sounds in Swedish. It can be either this aw sound or just ah, ah. Um, I'm going to show you some words where these different sounds of the A changes completely the meaning. To start with, we have, for example, the word glass, glass. And here we have just one consonant coming after the A, the vowel. And what normally, when we have just one consonant coming after, then the vowel gets very long, just like in this case. Glass, glass. And then we have another word, the word ice cream in Swedish, glass. Here we have two consonants coming after the vowel. And normally this is when we get this ah sound, so the shorter version of the A. So you can say either glass or glass, glass or glass. Um, and this is very important to know because I think normally you want to eat ice cream, glass, and not glass. And if you want to have ice cream in a glass, then you can say "en glass yet glass." So it's a good sentence to hear both the long version and the short version. And another example of a word with different pronunciation of the letter A is the word "talk." Talk is how we say "roof" or "ceiling" in Swedish, and this looks very similar to our way to say "thank you," but uh, this one is spelled with just one consonant. And it's okay, pa. Uh, but thank you, on the other hand, is spelled with double consonant, ck. So then instead, it sounds more like ta, ta. So we have talk or ta. And you, normally, you're going to use more thank you. So here it's very important to pronounce it as a short a, ta, and not ta. Then we have another example when it's very important to get the vowels right, the long version or the short version, depending on the context. If you want to say that you like to listen to rap music, then you need to pronounce it as rap, double consonant. So that makes this A very short, rap, rap, you listen up for rap. But on the other hand, if someone burps, then you can say ra, ra. That's how we say burp. <laughs> Another example of two words with different pronunciation of the A, but still kind of similar, are the words baken and backen. Baken can mean different things, uh, but it means basically the backside. And if we're talking about the body, we mean the back part of our body, so basically the ass. Uh, and here it's super important to do the long A, which means that we need to put down the jaw when we say this. So it's like baken, baken. Very important to put down your jaw when you say this long A. Ah, oh, bakken. But then on the other side we have backen. And backen, this one has double consonant. Um, and that's why the A is very short. So it sounds like more like an A. Ah, A. Ah, backen. Backen. And backen is how we say slope in Swedish. So for example, if you go skiing, then you go to backen, not bakken. Another example of this long and short A can be heard in the word dam and dam. Dam is how we say lady. And here also the A is very, very strong, so you need to put down your jaw when you say this, dam. And here we only have one consonant. So that's why it becomes this long A, A, dam, lady. Uh, but then we also have dam, dam. Here the A is very short because we have two consonants coming after it. And dam is how we say dust in Swedish. So maybe you want to call someone a lady, not dust. So good to know the difference. Dam, 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 dam. 
next example of this long and short A are in the words maka and macka. Maka is one of many ways to say wife in Swedish. And here we just have one consonant coming after the A. That's why it becomes long, maka. But we also have the word macka. And macka is a way of saying sandwich in Swedish. And here we have two consonants. So that's why the A gets really short. Macka, macka, maka, macka. Also very important, so you say that you want to eat a sandwich and not a wife. And our last example of this long A and this short A uh, is in the words gratis and gratis. This is also very easy to mix up because they're written quite similar, but the difference is uh, we have double T in one and one T in the other. Uh, and in the one we have just one T in the end, just one consonant, it's here where the A gets really long, gratis. Gratis in Swedish means free of charge, like you don't have to pay for it. So maybe it says uh, gratis goodies, free of uh, candy. So candy you, you can just pick, you can just eat it without paying for it. It's a very important word. But then we have gratis. And here the A is very short because we have two consonants coming after. And gratis is how we say congratulations. So very, very good word to know if you want to say uh, gratis på födelsedagen. Uh, which is how we say happy birthday or congratulations on your birthday. Grattis. So let's try to say them again. Gratis, 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 gratis. And remember, when I say gratis, I always put down a jaw. Gratis. So this was the last word of how you pronounce the long and the short vowels. Uh, today we have focused a lot on the, the vowel A, A, or A. So we're going to do more videos when we also focus on the other vowels and how they sound in the long form and in the short form. So if you like this video, put a like, subscribe, and we're going to do more videos about the vowels.